This is Eugene Panrutkiewicz on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Acer Aspire 5560 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Acer Aspire 5560 laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we want to remove all sources of power and that means removing the battery. So what you do is you flip the laptop over. There is an orange lever, lever on the bottom that you have to slide to your left using a pen or a screwdriver or some sort of pointed tool like so and then you lift up the battery and remove the battery and once you remove the battery you can work on the laptop safely. Okay, so let's open the laptop back up. And uh, for this laptop, just like with almost all other laptops, in order to get to the screen assembly, you have to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, you have to remove two screws at the bottom that are hiding behind some plastic covers. So before we, we start on that, I'll go over the tools that we're going to need. Uh, most of the time, we're going to use a PH1 screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips, and 1 stands for size. We may need a smaller PH00 screwdriver for smaller screws. And also, we have a 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver, to mostly to pry things open. Then we have a pair of sharp metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck. And finally, we have an X-Acto knife or a hobby knife with a pointed blade. And that's to remove the plastic screw covers, and which we're going to do right now. So we use our X-Acto knife to remove the plastic screw cover. And don't do what I just did. It just popped off and went off, but it's not a crucial part for the laptop so we're okay and next one we'll try remove it without it popping off it did jump off at me but I caught it and what you want to do with this one is put it right next to the screw opening so you can keep track of it later and not lose it like I did okay so the next thing we're gonna do after that is use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the two screws at the bottom, they have, we have one and we have two. And for each step, for each set of screws, I like to keep the screws in a separate pile. So when I put the laptop back together, I can keep track of which screws go where. Okay, the next step is probably the most difficult step in the whole procedure is we're going to snap off the screen bezel. So what I like to do for this step is put my fingertips on the screen side and gently start lifting up with my fingertips and listen for snapping sounds. So when you hear snapping sounds, that's a good sign. That means the bezel is coming off. So gently work your way around the whole screen bezel. If you get stuck, brackets so we need to get to the screws on the side and two and once again we start a new pile with
we pull the connector back and it comes off. Okay, the screen is free now, but before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to reconnect it because people sometimes have difficulty in doing that. When you slide it in, you feel but not hear two clicks. That means it's properly engaged. So let's take a look at the close up what a properly connected connector should look like. Let's bend the tape back. Let's see if we can get a good focus. There we go. Okay, pause the video right here. This is what a properly connected connector should look like. There should be no gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, so let's keep moving on. So we disconnect the connector again, lifting up all the adhesive of tape, pull it out, and we take a look at this screen. Now this is a 15.6 inch LED screen, and as of uh, late 2012, it's the most common screen out there available on laptops. So there should be no problem finding it. Let's take a look at the part number. The part number you're looking for is LP156WH4. LP156WH4. Okay, so you can also order this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons. Uh, we sell it. And what you get with us is this toolkit, the exact same tools that I use here. It comes for free with the screen. We have a two-year warranty on the screen, so if you develop any trouble with the screen other than accidental damage during the two years, we'll replace it at no charge. We also offer free email technical support, so if you get stuck during the procedure at some point, email us some photos and tell us what's going on and we'll help you out. And finally, we have fast shipping. We ship from warehouses in Atlanta and Tucson, so you'll get your screen in two or three days if you're in the continental United States. And we also offer global shipping, so we can ship to most countries where there's a functioning postal service. Okay, to order the screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com and then there will be a short form for you to fill out with the laptop model and email address. Once you do that, we'll email you back the link to the right screen. Or you can click on search for your screen on the bottom and there will be a search box that pops up and just type in Acer 5560 and the first result will be the right screen also. Okay, once you do get the screen in, connect the connector as I showed you, then mount the screen on the metal mounting brackets like I showed you before, tighten these screws at the bottom, make sure you don't forget that or you damage the hinges, put the two screws on the top end, snap on the screen bezel and put the two screws in at the bottom and the screw cover covers provided that you don't lose them like I did. And then you'll be good to go and the laptop will be as good as new. Okay, that's it. My name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.